bakit may nasasaktan at bakit may nananakit? Bakit merong broken hearted? Bakit merong heartbreakers? Bakit palaging merong sakit? At kailan tayo mawawala ng kirot sa katawan? Buti na lamang may biogesic o ponstan o efficacent oil. E paano kung hindi abot ng biogesic? Hindi kaya ng ponstan. Hindi kaya ng hagod ng efficacent oil. Yung kirot, yung sakit na dinadala natin. What happens? The question of evil, the question of pain, the question of suffering has been a question that humanity has been wrestling with since human beings started to reason. Since we started thinking, we have been breaking our heads about the reality the fact of pain, of torment, of hurt, of agony, of being broken, of sickness, and even of death. Ngayong araw pong ito, tinuturo sa atin ang salita ng Diyos. Ano talaga ang pain? Ano talaga ang suffering? Ano talaga ang torment and anguish, ano talaga ang brokenness sa buhay natin bilang tao. First, pain is a mystery. Sickness is a mystery. Hurt is a mystery. How come they hurt me and the others don't? How come I get sick and the others don't get sick? Pain, suffering is a mystery. When we see pain, we become, we feel too small. We feel too tiny. We feel like powerless. We feel like weak creatures unable to fight. A great mystery, which is pain. Kailangan nating tanggapin yon. Na ang hirap dito sa mundo ay hindi natin sukat maintindihan. And that is the reality. We just have to live with it. We just have to accept that for as long as we are here on earth, we will be living with a little headache. Or perhaps with a little body ache, with a little heart ache, with a little disappointment, with some frustration, brothers and sisters, this will be part of our lives. But the second teaching about pain, about hurt, is that pain and hurt are not only mysteries. Pain and hurt are also gifts. Gifts. Where did God show the height of His love for us? At the pain on the cross. Where did God show the depth of His love for us? At Calvary. In other words, somebody who faces pain, somebody who endures hurt, somebody who carries the cross, is given a share in the passion of the Lord. Ibig sabihin po, kung gusto tayong mahalin ng Panginoon, ang ibinibigay niya sa atin ay yung pinakamahalaga sa Kanya. At ano ang pinakamahalaga sa Kanya? Hindi yung pera. Hindi yung ginhawa. Ang pinakamahalaga sa Kanya ay yung mamatay para sa atin. Kaya nga, sa buhay ni Santa Teresa de Jesus, Tinanong niya ang Panginoon, Lord, I have served you. I have served the church. And look what happens to me. People are opposing me. 
people are trying to destroy me and I am hurt by what they do to me. Lord, I am your friend. You are my friend. Why do you do this to me? And Jesus told Teresa, Teresa, that is how I deal with my friends. And Teresa said, that is why you have few friends. The cross, the pain, the hurt is a gift, is a kiss from our loving God. Another Teresa of Calcutta was also confronted by it and she was assured that hurts and pains and sufferings are kisses from the Lord. And she said, I hope the Lord does not kiss me too often. Pain is a mystery. Pain is a gift. Last, pain is a promise. Yes, it is a promise. Pain is only like a seashell. And it may be hard. It may be impenetrable. But it is like a seashell and inside it is pearl. In other words, we are waiting for a new heaven and a new earth where there will be love without pain, where there will be hope without terror, where there will be peace without threat, where there will be life and there will be no more death. Kapag tayo ay nakakaranas ng hirap dito sa mundo, alalahanin natin sa kabilang buhay ay may buhay na wala ng kirot, wala ng biogesic, wala ng ponstan, wala ng samaan ng loob. Because in the new heavens and the new earth that the Lord has promised us, love will be without pain, life will be without sorrow, life will be without sickness, and it is a promise of the great things to come. Three words for pain. It is a mystery. It is a gift. It is a promise. Kapag mabigat na bigat na ang dinadala ninyo, hindi na kaya ng gamot o hindi na kaya ang alasin ng anesthesia at hindi na makatulog, hindi na makakain sapagkat napakabigat ng dinadala. At tayo magtatanong, Lord, where are you? I need you. The Lord will answer us through Him, with Him, in Him. Through your pain, with you in your pain, in your pain, I am with you. There is no pain here on earth that can separate us from the love of God. There is no pain here on earth that can separate us because inside our pain is God. With us in our pain is God. And amongst us is God who has embraced our pains. So later on when I say, through Him, with Him, in Him, and you sing, Amen. Say, Amen, and say to the Lord, In my pain, you are there. You are a mystery. As I carry my pain, you are with me. You are my companion. As I carry my pain, you are inside my pain. Lord, you are my hope.